low-level drift cars and top-level drift cars, are there significant differences in some of these cars? Does it affect the drift ability of each car or does it depend on who is driving it? We go straight to the video the first is a car with the first level. You can see the paint and the body of the car are rusty and have lots of dents, broken glass and lots of patches on each part that the engine and the legs have been upgraded to make this car drifting. But is this car enough to be able to drift? We'll see the second as a medium level car, namely a BMW with plain bright red paint. This car is used for drifting but also seems to be used for daily use. There are not many stickers or decals attached to this car. The engine has also been upgraded as well as the legs, is this car easy to control when drifting? Finally, there is the Nissan Silvia S15, a million-dollar car used by both professional and normal drifters. This Nissan Silvia has been equipped with several parts such as a roll cage, aftermarket handbrake, seats, upgraded engine, legs that have been set in such a way and many other modifications that occur to this car. The decal looks very beautiful to look at, making this car not only win in drift contests but also win.
of the three cars you can judge what differences there are from each car. And maybe that's enough for our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you feel entertained. And always support me so I can always be excited to entertain you. See you in the next.